Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I am going to be filming with two palettes. <laughs> two palettes, not two palettes. I don't know what that was. So the first palette I'm going to be using is my Violet Voss Rainbow Palette. As you guys know, this is an all shimmer palette. And then we're going to use this one. If you guys don't know what's in here, it is... These are the shades. <laughs> these are the single shadows for my 90s project pan. So I'm going to be using these in conjunction with that Violet Voss Rainbow Palette because I need some mattes, I need some other shadows and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. I will let you know I do have my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on my eyes today. I'm gonna start off with this Alomar Cosmetics fluffy brush and we are going to start off in the Sparrow Cosmetics January Garnet shade. And I'm just going to take this on my brush and put it right into my crease. Now, some of these are shimmery shades that I'm putting in my crease. You don't have to. If you have comparable shades, you can do different things. I am just somebody who uses makeup any way I see fit. So this is really just more of a transition shade for the look that I have planned today. But I'm super excited. So for anyone wondering, um, just because I've had a few people mention things, I do, I have been filming these ahead of time, some of them. Some of them are like the day before they go up. It just really depends. But a lot of these I film like bulk videos <laughs> and have been filming them for a little bit. So some videos you might notice lighting's a little different, this is a little different, the background's a little different. It just depends on when I filmed it, just so you guys are aware. So the next shade I'm going to go into, and I do not want this one to fall, this is another Sparrow Cosmetics shade. This is September Sapphire. This is from their Birthstone collection, by the way. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush. It's kind of a different style blending brush, and I'm going to put this right into my crease. Sometimes it's just fun to play with some single shadows and do something a little bit different. So I'm going back in with that LMR brush that had the, sh the garnet shade on it. And I'm just going to kind of blend and kind of have them make a purple together. A very kind of light muted purple. Ooh. <laughs> the next shade I'm gonna go in with is going to be this one. This is from the shade Beauty. It is their shade Nautical. And I'm going to be taking this on an angled eye brush. And this is from uh, Bayjoy. I'm going to place this right on the edge, kind of deepen all of that together. So again, I'm going to go in with that Alomar Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to gently blend. Once that is done, I'm going to go into the Violet Voss Rainbow Palette and I'm going to start off with the shade Royal right here. And yes, I did break the mirror. <sighs> Broken way too many mirrors and now I'm just scared for how everything's going to go. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush. It is stained from a different eyeshadow palette. It has been washed. Don't judge me. So I'm going to take this deep dark blue and I'm going to place it right starting at the edge of my eye. And you know what? I'm going to spray this. And I'm just spraying it with a little bit of my Mario Badescu Rose Water Setting Spray. We're just going to help kind of deepen 
the outer portion of my eye. Okay, so once that is on there, I'm going to go into the shade Fiji, which is this kind of very bright baby blue almost. And I'm going to just take this on a flat shader brush that looks like this. Again, I am going to spray this because I've kind of noticed that these need to be damp in order to really have them work. This is really going to brighten the rest of the eye look up. Okay, so I did go ahead and kind of clean up the eyeshadow on the sides of my eyes. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and do, <laughs> what I'm going to do is do my winged liner as well as my mascara off of camera and I will be right back. Well, I'm back and I used my Pretty Vulgar the Ink Gel Eyeliner for this look and then I used my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara that I've been using and... And now we're going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to use this eyeliner from Koki Professionals, their Velvet Smooth Eyeliner, and this is in bright blue. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in my waterline, kind of lower than just the waterline. And then I'm going to go into the shade Seafoam right here, and I'm going to place that along my lower lash line and I'm just taking this on kind of a flat definer brush. The next shade I'm going to go ahead and go into is going to be the shade Elf from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics. And I'm going to place this in my inner corner and just on my brow bone. I'm going to use kind of a pencil brush to do this. So far to me, this is a mermaid meets fairy, kind of ethereal, kind of colorful, happy-go-lucky look. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going to use this Mega Last Liquid Catsuit by Wet n Wild in Lavender Crown. Well, there you are. This is the final look. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I had a lot of fun kind of creating this very colorful, again, mermaid meets fairy kind of look. It gave me an excuse to play with this palette here because I do really like this palette. Again, this is the Violet Voss Rainbow Palette. It is an all shimmer palette and I used quite a few kind of shimmery shades on my lid today just to have some fun. Well, if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Again, leave a comment down below if you'd like to chat with me. I try my best to respond to each comment as I get them. Well, thank you guys again and bye! Bye.